What is up everybody? My name is Matt and I believe everyone has the ability to take professional looking photos and of course that includes with your iPhone. Today we are going to mix it up a little bit, go into the computer for these tips instead of out and about with the phone. Um, I got the hat off today my mom said I look better without the hat. Moms are always right, so got to listen. Um, I got some new toys, I got a light, I got a light, I got a new lav mic, so when I turn around, you'll still be able to hear me crystal clear, okay? So, let's jump into the computer. Uh, tip number nine today, we are talking about empty spaces. Um, so, let's take a look at exactly what that means in the computer. So, our first picture here. We got our athlete running up Red Rocks Amphitheater. Already you can tell this photo is creating a story here. Uh, if we go back to the original photo here, you can see, you know, uh, I'm ignoring the rule of thirds. Uh, so she is on the third, but uh, not really on the upper third. We're kind of shoving her up in the corner. Uh, you can see, even if I leave the people in, it's still a cool photo. Um, it really gives perspective because we have all this empty space here uh, that's not really doing anything except besides the fact that it looks cool, but maybe these are spectators watching her race up the stairs, uh, or if we go back to how we were, you know, it tells less of a story, but now we're really, again, rule of thirds here, but we got her way up in the top corner with all this empty space, and it's kinda, now you don't know what's going on. You're like, okay, she's, she's trudging her way up these stairs. I don't know where they end. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's five in the morning, and no one else is there, and she's just getting her reps in. So you can see how this is kind of creating a story, as opposed to, um, you know, if we throw her up in that top right third. Still a pretty cool photo, but I don't think it's as appealing. You, you lost some of the stuff, some of the bigger steps down at the bottom. Um, obviously, if we put her like in the middle, you lose those lines. Uh, I just think this, bam, is a way cooler photo. Um, I think you'd agree. Uh, so let's go to the next picture. Uh, okay, here we are in New York City, and we got all this empty space up here. My empty space, I just mean like, really we're just shoving the subject down in the corner. So you can see it's kind of grungy, New York City uh, vibe here, and it's just this snowman is out alone on the balcony, and this dirty balcony, you know, what kind of feel is that? Uh, maybe it's like February, and you're like, why is this snowman still outside? He's smiling, he's having a good time, but... Um, you know, this empty space up here kind of gives you this like lo more lonely feeling uh, than let's say if we pulled the crop in, threw him in, in that bottom third. Again, uh, we're really zoomed in now and it's creating a different feel. Uh, there's not a lot of open space telling a story. Uh, again, if we did the same thing but centered him, you know, I don't know, it's boring. It's not the same thing. It's a picture of a snowman on a balcony rather than something like this where I feel like it tells a better story. Again, maybe it's February, it's cold, snowman's out here alone, way past his due date. Um, at least he's happy. So let's go to the third and final picture. Uh, this is a picture I just took at Wadapalooza CrossFit competition. And so for this one, I do use rule of thirds, but uh, again, a lot more empty space here. We have a palm tree, which is super cool because uh, you know we're in Miami, but it's darker and she is so much more lit that it's just this big, dark, empty space. So if you see the original photo, um, th there's the judges and, and the other athletes and all this other stuff is going on, um, which takes away from the photo. You see these people and I could probably darken those, I could darken those people out um, and create a feel. That's actually what I did if you look at the before. I darkened a lot of this picture out because um, I wanted that empty space feeling of she won this heat, bam, go back to that. She won this heat, she came in first. So you can see she's out in the lead, there's no one ahead of her, uh, eyes on the prize, she's moving forward, and the, the light's shining on her. I just think it's such a cool photo to have this empty space. Um, it tells more of a story than, again, if we left the judges in it and everything. Um, so yeah, it was one of my favorite photos from that weekend. Um, all right. Yeah, so that's tip number nine. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, again, we did this on the computer because these are just tips. It's not something you can do every single time you take a picture, but being aware of these things and asking yourself, what kind of story are you telling? For these three photos, you, I explained the story I was telling. You know, it's uh, kind of about being alone. This person's in first place. Uh, this one girl's up early running the Red Rocks. Um, 
and then the snowman, you know, just out on his lonesome self from that balcony. So that's the story I wanted to tell with my photo. Rather than, again, just centered on the frame, having empty space just tells a better story. So I hope you like that tip. If you do like it, then like it or subscribe or follow me. Share this with a friend if you think they can get any use out of it. But more importantly, uh, send me your photos, ask me any questions. I love helping out um, and chat and shop about the photos and stuff. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, until next week, peace.